All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Ka Hawaiim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash, and Dom Honor, being to the elder apostles, the great millstone that do rule and teach well. And Shalom to you, Aki Maldaris, pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahawar Kakwadash. Okay, so this lesson <coughs> is going to be titled, The Spirit of Wisdom has entered in us, okay? Or, you know, something around those lines. You know, and, um, yeah, man, you know, the spirit of wisdom has entered into us. You know, the uh, the exceeding great army, you know, the, the hopeful elect of the Lord, you know, the ones that are standing stiffly, you know, and, um, and standing up for Yahweh Bashma Shai. Okay, the ones that are out here, you know, bold as lions proclaiming, you know, the, the name of the Lord, pro proclaiming, you know, who we are as people and proclaiming, you know, um, Yahweh Shai's, you know, uh, um, return, you know, privacy. Okay, we are, we are out here, you know, doing all those things. Okay, but it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashma Shai because we have uh, the spirit of wisdom has entered into us, just like how the spirit of wisdom entered King Solomon. Okay, after he prayed. Okay, so real quickly, let's start off with the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon 7. Okay, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 7. Okay, let me see. Okay. So I'm going to go to Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 7. Then I'm going to jump down to verse 25. Okay. So Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 7. And it says, Wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon the Most High and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Right. And so, you know, uh, the account. Well, actually, I'll get it real quick. But, you know, King Solomon, if you don't know, if, if you didn't know, King Solomon actually prayed for wisdom. Okay. And, and being that he prayed for wisdom, you know, the Lord gave him that wisdom. OK, you know, King Solomon, he could have prayed for for more, you know, carnal strength. He could have prayed for, you know, more riches, anything. But he, instead, he prayed for wisdom. OK, and it says, and I called upon the most high and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Right, man. So just like the spirit of wisdom came to King Solomon, the spirit of wisdom, you know, enter into us, you know, the spirit of wisdom, man. Just like I, just like you pe people out here, you know, they, they they got they got you know us, you know, um, a spirit of fear in them, spirit of doubt, you know. But we have a spirit of wisdom in us, okay. And ultimately, that's what that's the Holy Spirit, okay. The Holy Spirit, you know, gives us, you know, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, okay. The the Holy Spirit makes us alive, you know, wisdom. It makes us, um, it makes us brand new, okay. It makes us new creatures in Yahweh Bashma Shai. All right. So real quickly, I'm gonna get the, the quick account in Second Chronicle. All right, Second Chronicle. Um, seven. No, no, no. Let me see. Yeah, no. Second Chronicle one, verse seven to verse twelve. Okay, and it says, "And that night did the Most High appear unto Solomon and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee.' And Solomon said unto the Most High." Thou hast shewed great mercy unto David, my father, and has made me to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord, power, let thy promise unto David, my father, be established. For thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth and multitude. Give me now wisdom and knowledge. And that's what we have. OK, we have wisdom and knowledge. And right now, King Solomon is asking the Most High to give him that wisdom and knowledge. OK. And that, and, that's, and that proves the what's that the book of James just says. Let me get it real quick before I even uh, proceed in Chronicle. Let's go to James 1 and 5. Okay, and it says, If any of you lack of wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, that give to all men liberally, and a bread of not, and it shall be given him. Right, man? So, hey, man, ask for wisdom. You know, you, you can ask for more wisdom, you know? Even though the spirit of wisdom is rested upon us and, you know, we've been uh, uh, awoken by the Holy Spirit, you, you know, we can still ask for, you know, 
wisdom in certain things, you know, just like King Solomon did. OK, but it makes sense. OK, because the most High will 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 get that to you if you believe. OK, real quickly, James one and verse five in the NLT, it says, if you need wisdom, ask our ask our generous God, Yahweh Bashmal Shai, and he will give it to you. He would not rebuke you for asking, right? Because you, we're not asking for, you know, things that are carnal. We're not asking for things that are vain, okay? We're asking for more wisdom, more faith, things of that nature, things, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 gifts gifts that are spiritual, okay? So back in Second Chronicle 1 and verse um, 9, and it says, no, 10, excuse me. And it says, give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come and before, excuse me, give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people for who can judge this thy people that is so great. And the most I said to Solomon, because that, because this was in thy heart and thou was, and thou has not asked riches, wealth or honor, nor the life of thy enemies, neither yet ha has asked long life. But as but ask wisdom and knowledge for thyself that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, and neither shall there any after thee have the like. Okay, so King Solomon was the wisest king ever. Okay, in history, King Solomon is the, is the, was the... Is, is the was the wisest king ever, man? Okay, and uh, during the, uh, the reign of King Solomon, all right, um, it was about forty years of peace. Okay, and even I believe when uh, what's that, Queen Sheba, when um, when Queen Sheba had um, had uh, came to, to meet King Solomon, she basically, you know, she was overwhelmed with the wisdom and the order of his, you know, of the you know of the way he uh, he ran things. Okay. So just like he prayed for wisdom, you know, the most high granted to him. And then with him praying, the spirit of wisdom it rested, it rested upon him. You know, it, 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 uh, it turned into him. OK, and just and that's just like today, you know, with us, the exceeding great army. OK, the spirit of wisdom has, has entered into us because wisdom is what? Ultimately, wisdom is the, uh, the breath of the most high, the breath of life. OK, let's get that real quick. All right. So. We read Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 7. Now, <clears throat> we can head back to Wisdom of Solomon uh, 7 and verse uh, 25. All right. Let's get this real quick. So back in Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 25, it says, It says, For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty, therefore can therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. Okay, being that she's the breath, let's head to Ezekiel 37. Okay. And Lord's word is lesson is edifying to the Lord's sheep. Okay, Lord's word this is making sense. Okay, so let's head to Ezekiel 37. Okay, now we just read how the uh the, the breath of the most high, you know, that's you know, the wisdom of the most high is the breath, right? The breath of life, okay, and and the breath of life is what the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, okay, the Holy Spirit ultimately, okay. So let's head to Ezekiel thirty-seven and verse ten just to get to the point, and it says, "So I so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived. What's that breath? The wisdom, okay, the spirit of wisdom that has rested inside of us that has entered into us, okay." And they lived, and, and who was the day? The hopeful elect, the brothers out here, okay? And every time I read the scripture, I think about the movie They Live, you know, the movie starring uh, Roddy Roddy Popper, you know, uh, when he got those glasses, and when, and when he got those glasses, he put them on, and he saw everything, okay? His his uh, spiritual eye was open, okay? He got that wisdom, okay? He, 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 got, he got woken up, all right? And that's just like us. That's why it says, and the breath came into them, OK, and they live right, man, you know, you know, coming out of that, you know, that dust, that confusion, you know, of this world, you know, coming out of the valley of the dry bones. All right. So we've been made alive, man, spiritually. OK, 
That's why you says that's why it says in, in the book of Revelation uh, 11 <clears throat> in verse eight, get to the point, it says, and they excuse me, it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. OK, and, that, and that's talking about Jake. Now, also, you know, you can use that currently, you know, Jake, you know, being uh, persecuted over here by, you know, the heathen, you know, mainly Esau, you know, being shot down, you know, being wrongfully, you know, uh, uh, killed or murdered, if you will. You, you know, you, you can use that in a carnal sense. But to go even deeper, you, you can use that spiritually, because even though Jake is being, you know, judged currently in this side, Jake is asleep. OK, Jake is spiritually dead on this side. Jake, you know, you know, that's what makes them dead because they're sleep. OK, you know, and they're sleep over here in, uh, in uh, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, which is America. OK, and it says what spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord, Yahweh Shah was crucified. OK, meaning what? Meaning that they they turn, you know, the Lord's image into a so-called white man. OK, says Ray Bourget. All right. Damn demon. OK, but nonetheless, you know, uh, hey, man, Yahweh Shah is going to get is going to get his revenge very soon because of that. Well, also because of many more, because of many, you know, because of many other things as well. But that's one of the reasons why. Okay, so Esau, you're not getting away with things you've done to us, the things you've done to Yahweh Shai, the things you've done to this earth, the animals. Okay, hey, even the rest of the the uh, the, 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 the the nations, you know, they're mad too. Okay, Esau, you have to go. All right, you are the cancer of the earth. All right, but back to the point. Okay, Revelation 11 and 18, or, or verse 8, it says. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, right? America is a great city, all right? And being that they're dead, it's talking about being spiritually dead, all right? Because Jake don't have the uh, the breath of life inside them. They don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? They're, you know, they're uh, they're still Gentiles, all right? They, they don't know who they are. They don't know who the power source is, being being Yahweh Shemal Shai, okay? They're dead, but, but that's why it says in Ezekiel 37 and 10, it says they live because we have been made alive by the spirit of, of uh, wisdom being entered into us, the Holy Spirit. OK, that's what makes us alive, man. OK, it says it says that the uh, the spirit quickened and, and the flesh profit nothing. OK, we've got we go to the word quickened it means alive, man. So the spirit makes us alive. That's why it says they lived. OK, they lived, man. We live. All right. We are alive. So back in Ezekiel 37. And verse 10, and it says, so I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet. Right. An exceeding great army. OK, you got on came across the whole four corners of the earth, man. All right. We are everywhere. Starting off with the apostles, the elders, the bishops. You know, the priests out here, we know us, man. We're out here, man. Okay, call Lord Yah Bashmal Shai Bahashirin Kagwadash. That proves that this gospel is it's true, man. You cannot come against this gospel. All right? Because one way or another, it's gonna keep flourishing. Okay. It's gonna keep flourishing, man. You gotta you got brothers waking up every day, man, every night. Okay, because why? Because the word is being preached every day and every night. Because why? Because the, the people that's preaching, excuse me, the occupant that's preaching it, they're alive. Okay. They're living. Okay. The spirit of wisdom has, has entered into them. All right. The breath of life. Okay. So with that being said, I just want to say, call Lame La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. Double my honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. All right. And once again, I want to say, uh, uh, Shalom to you, Ankim out there. Let's push in truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name. Of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhakwadash, and Lord's will you edify. That being said, Shalom.